sometimes I just can't contain myself. Welcome back to Dean's Dustbin. So here we are for the second part of the build that I alluded to in the last episode. Now that the pipe's done, it's ready to be mailed off to Germany, but at the same time, I just I can't leave things well enough alone because I got an idea. Um, when I was doing my research on pipes, I was checking out pipes at the uh, local smoke shop, and they all had these little nice pretty boxes they came in, and I was like, well, I can build a box. So what we're going to do is we're going to make off a uh, box real quick uh, out of this white pine right here. Um, and then on top of that pine, we're going to have this uh, top that I've already cut out. This is birch. I always like burning into birch. It's my preference. And on that uh, birch, since we put the, uh, the rune on the pipe, we're putting the rune on top of the birch slide. So this is going to be a pretty simple slide box, uh, you know, four walls, bottom, and then uh, slide top out. But uh, yeah, that's what we're building. And then I'm going to make a really cool insert on the inside. So uh, let's break this wood down, pin it together, and get this thing going. So now that we got all the pieces, uh, the basic principle of what we're doing, we're going to take these uh, pieces of wood, set them up kind of side by side, put a wall in the center. This is going to go on a slide coming in from the top. So what we're going to have to do now is uh, I've already set the table saw with the proper depth. We're going to carve in uh, channels. Uh, I did about a half inch depth uh, down from the top. That will create our slide mechanism in. And then we're also going to have to shave this uh, down so the slide has somewhere to go in and out of. So let's go run it through the table saw and create our channels and cut this one down. Now that we've got the channels cut through, as you can see, we're going to be able to uh, take our sheet of birch, slide it in and out to make our slide top. Uh, last thing i got to do for the day, basically, is uh, i got some Tide Bond 3 wood glue here. We're just going to lube up the sides of these things, pin it all together with some wood glue, a couple of uh, brad nails, and some clamps. And unfortunately, that's the end of what I can do for the day. So we will be back tomorrow once everything is all dried up. Alright, so now we're going to turn our attention to the, uh, the slide top uh, for the box. Now, uh, in the previous video, you saw that I burned Matsu's ruin into his pipe. Well, guess what we're going to do? We'll burn the ruin into the box, too, in the slide top. So you can see we got the ruin etched out there, or lined out, I should say. Now, one of the things I did is I asked Matsu uh, what his favorite color was. And his answer was uh, he liked orange, or in essence, the colors of fire. Guess what? <laughs> I like fire too, buddy. Yeah. So what we're going to do to add a little bit of a uh, splash of color to this thing, got some water colors here, and guess what? We got orange. So, <laughs> like being back in kindergarten, I suppose, we're going to hit this uh, room around it and kind of paint it up a little bit of watercolor. Get little different layers of, uh, uh, or levels, I guess, thicknesses, so to speak, of the orange kind of going around his room. And that'll give it kind of a nice little, you know, added something so it's not just straight, you know, the, the, the wood burning, which, don't get me wrong, I like straight wood burning, but I, I always try to challenge myself to do something different. So that is the different element that we are adding to this one. So once we get this thing painted up a little bit, get our splashes of color, we're going to focus down, we're going to wood burn this sucker. So now that we got the slide uh, top done, and uh, actually I think it's pretty cool, uh, there's uh, one last thing we got to do to it. You have to make some way to grip it and pull it out. Now, you can accomplish that a couple different ways. Um, you could just simply drill a hole down in through it so you can put your finger in it, pull it out that way. You could carve a little notch in it. But what I decided to do is I just made a little uh, chip, I guess you could say, uh, out of the same wood that we made uh, the shaft of the pipe on. So all we're going to do is we're just going to take some uh, wood glue, tack it on down there. That way you have something to kind of pull it out with, and that'll be how we get our uh, slide to work. All right, 
so here we are. It's the next day, and everything is finally dried and glue up. But before we move on, i got to point something out. Check that out. So Vassal was kind enough to uh, create the rune for the dust bed. Um, so I officially have something from him hanging up here in the uh, shop, and it will uh, always be a reminder of this build. So what we have at this point, we have our nice white uh, pine box. We got our uh, slide with his rune on it. Hey look, works perfectly. But uh, what we need is we need an insert. So what I have is just a standard green styrofoam brick. Uh, we're gonna take it over to the bandsaw and we are gonna chop this sucker down so it fits in there. And then we have the pipe, we've got it lined up. Then we're gonna take a Dremel tool and we're gonna just shape and carve that sucker out so that it has something to uh, sit in. And then back to Matsu liking the color orange. So what I've got, once I get this all carved out, is we're gonna line it in some uh, orange silk. Uh, that way it's got something kind of pretty. So let's do this all up and we will finish this project today. Now that things are to size, we just gotta carve. And uh, I may be uh, an idiot, but I'm not dumb. So, at least I'm smart enough to sit back and protect myself, at least ever so slightly, from the sheer amount of styrofoam dust I'm about to create. in the dustbin, but uh, apparently we're playing plastic dust today. Alright, let's clean this sucker up and get it uh, looking pretty. Alright, so just like the uh, the pipe, we're going to hit it with uh, some mineral oil first, follow it up with some polishing wax. Um, my hope is that, and I'm second guessing myself right now, but I'm thinking, you know, to, to have just the char on the lid is the way to do it. You know, the whole less is more thing. Because um, once I do this, I'm kind of uh, kind of locked in. But uh, let's get this sucker uh, sealed up or conditioned up, I guess might be the word, with the oil. We'll get them both waxed and then we'll be able to start work on the insert again. Just like that, we are done. We have our custom made box complete with Matsu's Ruin and orange on the outside. Nice little pull slide top to reveal a orange lined uh, pipe box. And just like the box, we got his Ruin on here too. So that was a pleasure for me to make and I'm happy I got to do it. There's only one downside. That's who lives in Germany, which means that thing's got to take a really long trip across the world to get to them. So let's box this sucker up and ship it out. So this is just a side note. Uh, I finished the pipe and box up yesterday, right? Well, I took it to work today, just got off, and my regulars wanted to see what I made because I told them I was building it, and I also explained, never done this before in my life, right? I think one of the best comments came from one of my regulars that said something to the effect of, uh, I know you said you'd never built a pipe before, so my expectations were very low. I was like, okay. And he's like, you exceeded the expectations. Now, in the back of my head, I was like, is that like taking first place in the Special Olympics of pipes? Because I, I don't know. I like it. I think I did fine. Anyway, um, if you've never watched the channel or don't know what I'm doing, too, one last thing I forgot to say. Uh, everything that comes out of the dustbin, everything I build, comes with the sawdust from it. So for uh, Matsu, we got a combination of cherry wood from the bowl. Uh, purple heart and then I even picked up some of the uh, sawdust so to speak from the styrofoam from when I was carving it So uh, he's got uh, everything that came from his uh, build inside this little vial as well as a gift tag created by on the back explains everything else that I did uh, Now now we need to box that sucker up and get it to Germany. All right, let's ship it
Oh fuck. Holy shit. Are you kidding? La mia runa, ragazzi! È una scatola di legno, Frison forse. Con la mia runa. Are you fucking kidding me? It pulls. Ah, okay, okay, okay. So this is made exactly for the pipe. Tocca provare, sì, per forza. And made. Corta quindi tocca la gamma proprio. No, ma non è corta, eh. Questa è corta? Sì, è bellissimo tutto ciò. Car specific to hold you pop inside. Monkey, this is amazing. This is freaking amazing. Let me read it uh, out. Okay. Do you know if you use them to pipes, but I wanted to make sure you had some in case you did. Okay. USB drive containing the, foot, the footage and bonus features. A Dean Basmin logo. Put it on your wall or burn it. The choice is yours. <laughs> no. A vial dust with a created by a card. Everything I build comes with uh, its own personal dust. The dust is saved during the process of every build and given back to you so that you have something that came from the making of your build. Your file contains cherry, purple art. It's still from dust. Wait, I need silence for this. Lastly, thank you, Matsuya. Thank you for being who you are. I never would have known when I came over doing Fuzzy Stream that I'd still be here six months later. You're the reason I stuck around, not your content. You are a genuine person and I wish you the best in life. I hope this finds you well and you like the pipe. It'll never be the nicest pipe you own in your lifetime, but it was made with whatever is left of my soul and cost miles for you. Take care and happy smoking. Cheers, the proprietor of Dusty Bean. So this is what remains from my pipe. This is the dust of my pipe. If I'm here drunk and you don't ban me, that's so that you are a genuine person. Why do you have to make me cry every fucking stream, man? Thank you, monkey. <laughs> you have no idea how much I appreciate this. And you. Fuck! Merda! <laughs> Thanks, man. Cry, man. It's not something to be ashamed of. No, I'm not ashamed of crying. I'm. Uh, it, it just burns. Well, that went well. Uh, as you can see, Matsu was very happy. Uh, and that makes me happy uh, because I was a fish out of water. I had no clue what the hell I was doing, but uh, turns out I know how to make a pipe now, and that's good because... Uh, 
that pipe got me two more pipes to make. So I guess we're going to be making some of those uh, down the line. We'll get a couple videos of that at some point. Um, but yeah, so uh, here we are at the end of this uh, long adventure. Not only was it uh, time to build it, it was almost two months even for it to get to Germany. Um, so a whole big culmination here. Um, so this is me signing out for Dean's Dustbin. If uh, you're feeling frisky, you like what you're seeing, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that little bell notification icon. There's uh, no schedule around here. So we just do videos whenever I decide to build something. And uh, if you want to see me every week, you know, check me out on my other channel. It's uh, Redneck Cooking with Billy Ray. We get into something different over there every uh, Monday at 3 p.m. Eastern. All right. We'll see you next time. Later.